and welcome back to Let's Play Mother 1 or Earthbound Zero. Let's get our tank. No, I wish real airlines would work like, work, uh, would work like that. Fly enough and you get a free tank. Yeah, we have a tank now. No more random encounters, at least. Unfortunately, the tank can't go off uh, the desert for some reason. So in case you were thinking you could just drive this thing on to the next town, nope, can't leave the desert. Unfortunately, oh, I wanted to see tank versus train. But anyways, let's look around the desert now that we don't have to worry about random encounters. Uh, actually, where am I? I can't look at the map while in the tank. Right. Well, let's just wander around for a bit. Nothing over here. I don't get why you can't get off the desert with a tank. I mean, tanks can go on grass. For the most part. But yeah, the desert is actually really big. Uh, we want to come here later. Let's see, no, this isn't where... We can't even go on the grass in the middle of the desert. Uh, this is the upper right-hand side of the desert. We want to go this way. There it is. Let's go see these ruins. And this is why we needed the tank. Yeah, this guy is basically standing guard to these ruins, and, um... If we took him on on foot, we would have died. Luckily, with our tank, we just reflect every single bit of damage. And we all can just fire the tank gun at him. So yeah, if you basically need the tank to beat this guy. It's actually impossible otherwise. So just keep firing at him, there's really no strategy whatsoever. Just keep hitting him till he dies. Also, I forgot how low Anna was in terms of health. Oh, he broke our tank. Yeah, unfortunately we don't get to keep the tank for very long. That reminds me, I need a repel ring up. Because before we go in the ruins, there's- oh. Oh hey, Nancy! No, I don't know why they named the robot Nancy. But anyways, um, the thing about Nancy is that usually the first turn- Oh, she didn't do it this time. Well, normally the first turn she up raises her uh, defense to obscenely high levels. And by obscenely high, I mean like in the- She raises it by like 160. And after that, the only way to actually damage her is uh, through Anna. So yeah, we actually got kind of lucky that time that she didn't mute Anna. Because if that happens, we pretty much had to run away. But anyways, there's one more thing I want to do before leaving the desert. That has nothing to do with scorpions. Let's just get rid of these guys. Uh, I shouldn't have had everyone attack the same one. Especially now that Anna's poisoned. I need to heal Anna. Okay, Lloyd's well, fine. Oh crap, I forgot how low Anna was in terms of HP. I really should get her back up to no good levels. I don't want her to die, because I don't want to find another Nancy and not have her av available. So, uh, let's heal her first. There we go, and let's get rid of that poison. That's not right. There we go, now we want to head to the upper left. In this area, there are more random encounters. Oh god, energy robots run! The thing about energy robots is that they explode when they die. And since this is an earthbound, we don't have rolling HP mirrors to deal with that. So that would have basically party wiped us if we had stayed. Now there's one spot in this area that I want to step on. There it is! Remember when the guy said there was still one mine left in the desert? We found it! And we get a little message from a toy. That's kind of a bit of an easter egg. You don't really get anything from that. Oh hey, it's Nancy again! Maybe she'll raise her HP or her defense this time. Nope, she's just- Oh my god, Freeze! Yeah, the thing about Freeze... 
gam no that's not gamma I think that's pi it's supposed to be pi I think but the thing about that one is unlike the other freeze it doesn't do damage it just reduces your enemy down to critical status it never kills but um as you saw it does it's pretty powerful I need to get Ninten back all the way there we go unfortunately and it's kind of on PP let's just head into these ruins Oh, hey, rattlesnake! Oh god, rattlesnakes. Oh! Rana's dead. Of course. You know what? Let's just get out of here. We're so close to the end of the desert. We should be fine. Now let's run into these ruins real quick. Luckily, there are no random encounters in these ruins. But there are monkeys. Also, Anna's invisible. And unfortunately, all the monkeys in here are lying jerks. But let's take a look around. Also, I just realized this place is just a reskin of the uh, tunnels under Magicant. Bit lazy. Now, there's some things I want to find in this cave before I leave. Hey, more monkeys. Um, no. That wasn't exactly a yes or no question, but okay. Let's see, what do you have to say? Okay, another friend, nice. Uh, I don't want to go there yet, I think. Pretty sure there are some treasure chests I want first. Let's see, uh, is it this way? No, it's not that way. Come on. Where are those stones? Uh, I think I have to go. I do have to go down a level right. Well, anyway, there are PSI stones in this dungeon somewhere. Well, it's not really a dungeon, even. There aren't any enemies, and there are just a bunch of lying monkeys around. Uh, did I talk to you yet? Sure, why not? That's not a story, that's advice. Get it right. Alright, let's get out of here. Uh, I talked to you already. Yep, more monkey caves. You're lying, I don't believe you. Okay, maybe you're not lying. Let's see, anything over here? Was the monkey- No, the monkey wasn't lying. And we got some PSI stones. Uh, these things restore PP. They're actually pretty important later in the game. They're not- I don't think they're reusable though. So I'm gonna save them for now. <clears throat> Man, for some monkey caves, there are really aren't that many monkeys, it seems. At least they're not asking for random stuff like in Earthbound. Actually, I'm pretty sure you could prob- No, you can't- No, you I think you can skip this area now that I think about it. Oops, rock command. Um, this is episode 16? So about each one test. I don't want to do math right now, forget it. I'm just going to assume it's a few hours. Math is hard. Actually, math isn't hard, it's just annoying. Okay. The monkeys in this game are weird. Oh, yay, he gave me... Oh, a quick capsule. That's actually pretty useful. Here you go, Anna. Oh, right, Anna's dead. Oops. Well, that normally increases speed, but I kind of forgot it doesn't work on dead characters. So, we just poured it on her unconscious body. It didn't do much. I don't believe you. I'm kinda lost. No, I will go further inside. You're not the boss of me. You stupid lying monkeys. And this should look familiar. Back to Magicant time. Oh, okay, good. I didn't need the great-grandfather's diary this time. Uh, 
Well, anyways, now that we're back in Magicant, again, because I haven't been here enough already, let's actually drop off some stuff. I don't need this ever again. Uh, and I don't need this. I had one too many ticket stubs. Nope, that's it. Alright, first things first. There are... Actually, no, uh, what level am I? No, there is nothing I want to do here in Magic Hand, so let's just leave. Actually, let's heal up and then leave. That's probably a better idea. There we go, we got Anna back. Yay. And let's get some healing. It's Prime Rib, like the first 20 times you asked. Okay, enough that. Anyways, we basically just have to leave the exact same way we, can, we always do. Head over to the well. Yeah, I can't... Uh, yeah, anyways, here we go. Head over to the well. Then right, left, left, right. Same as always. Now, nor actually, uh, no, I'm still a few levels too low. Basically, you can wake up and fight the dragon at, uh, level 25, when Nintendo is level 25, I think. Oh, hey, Groucho. But anyways, once Nintendo is level 25, I think, or it might be if, uh, party average is 25, I'm not sure. Pretty sure it's just dependent on Nintendo's level. But once Nintendo is level 25, we can wake and fight the dragon. But really, I don't want to do that quite yet. I'm going to save that for later. Mostly because I can't wake the, wake the dragon yet. I am getting a lot of Grouchos. Forget it, let's just kill it. Actually, I'm curious, how much XP do you get for killing it? One! That's a lot. No, that's not a lot at all. I'm guessing a Groucho. Is my re Repel ring? Did my repel ring wear off when I wasn't looking or something? Why am I getting weak enemies again? Ooh. Okay, never mind. That was worth it. Can't fight the dragon yet, though. Still got a few levels to go. Are you serious? Fine. I don't feel like cutting these out, I'm just gonna leave them in, you know what? Forget it. They're really short anyways, it's not really worth the time and effort to cut them out. But anyways, now that we've left Magicant, we're somewhere completely different. Yeah, once you go through the monkey caves, now every time you leave Magicant, you'll come out here. As you'll see later in the game, or in like the next episode, this is gonna be completely useless after the next episode. And the same enemies as in the desert. So, I think that's gonna be it for this episode of Let's Play Earthbound Zero. Next time on Let's Play, on the Let's Play, we go somewhere new. I think we're heading to Youngtown next. As long as Anna doesn't die. Yeah, we're heading to Youngtown. So, until next time. <laughs>